Hi guys. Okay, so today we're getting started with the Garnier Soothing Mist and also their moisturizer. My faves. And we're going in with the Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. And we're going to get started with the brows. I'm going to map out my arch first by using the tip of my nose. Because I don't have an arch, so I have to build it. <laughs> and I'm penciling that in. <laughs> Definitely a bit askew in that area there. No hair grows whatsoever. Um, when I was a kid, my brother threw something at my head and it hit my eye and I was bleeding. And that eye has not been the same ever since. <laughs> no hair grows there. Like Even eyeshadow pigment doesn't pick up as well. It's a big mess. But all I'm doing is, like I said, brushing it in using light pencil strokes. I try to make it look as real as possible because clearly you can tell. <laughs> you can tell the difference. Um, so I don't like to like build a fluffy fake brow because I'm kind of just using, working with what I have, which is not much. <laughs> So I don't want to make something like so exaggerating, you know, but I kind of just want like a fuller brow, if that makes sense. <laughs> now I'm topping it off with the brow gal, brow gal <laughs> powder. I use the pencil first and then I kind of set everything with this powder. And I brush it all out. It helps distribute the pigment, you know, which is why you always want to use the spoolie. Now I'm going in with the Benefit Boing concealer just so that I can clean up the brow area. And really contour it. gel kind of just keeps everything in place which I really like it because it's got a teeny tiny wand so it's perfect for my teeny tiny brows <laughs> uh, moving on I'm going in with the MAC soft ochre paint pot my favorite of life it's the only one I use to prime my eyeballs it's the only one I found that's worked I have yet to find anything better so why ruin a good thing, right? <laughs> and I'm setting it with powder. Whatever I put cream on my face, I set it with powder. It's just a rule of thumb of mine. I'm putting cream down. I will set it with powder. <laughs> so now I'm going in with this trans <laughs> transition shade from the Peach Palette. And I'm just throwing that up in the crease. And I'm going in with my favorite 
that luxy brush and that wine color and I'm just gonna start in the outer V and work my way up into the crease so I'm just focusing on the corner because I'm like doing a smoky eye kind of ordeal here <laughs> so I just start a little bit at a time like especially when you're working with dark colors you want to work a little bit at a time so dip your brush in the shadow pack it on blend it out dip it pack it blend it dip pack blend right <laughs> seems pretty simple I mean you have to take your time with it obviously you know it's this is not for everybody because it is time consuming but do you want that smoky eye or not <laughs> but um, I do like a smaller fluffy brush especially for me I don't have like a, a crease I have hooded eyes so it just works well getting in there um, and there you have it then I clean it all up so I'm using just a crease brush to buff it out I go back in with that orange um, as I continue building the eye makeup it will get darker <music> I'm going in with the Tarte Marajuca concealer so that way I can cut the crease and also this helps with the glitter pigment that I'm gonna put down as well I just start at the center of the eye um, right where my crease should be <laughs> and I'm only putting it in the like the beginning beginning part of the eye kind of just using this to map it out because this is where I want that glittery pigment into the white peach palette and there's my pigment that I want to use and I just use a flat to find a brush because you want to pack it in just kind of dab 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 <laughs> and just keep placing the pigment till you get your desired texture is the word maybe <laughs> your desired consistency of shadow I have to admit it does look more glittery in person than it does on camera because I feel like it looks hella white <laughs> um, so now I'm going back in with that wine purpley shade and now I'm starting to darken up the outer V and also the crease now that I have you know the full eye done and this is where it really comes to life so you always again start out light and just build 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 the other eye <laughs> so I'm just mapping that out where I want the pigment with the 
glitter. So dip pack, what did I say? <laughs> dip pack and blend. I already forgot you guys, I'm terrible, sorry. <laughs> I'm going in with my favorite eyeliner of life. You guys already know. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And just doing a baby wing here. You know, I've been into the baby wings. I don't go all the way across my eye either. I like to keep it um, at the outer, outer V of my eye. It kind of just makes me look more awake, maybe. Because my eyes are so droopy, you know. So I just like to keep it like in the corner, just a little baby way. going in with the Smashbox um, finishing primer, primer water. <laughs> I'm going in with the Benefit Boing. This is the hydrating concealer. So I wanted to put that in just under my eyes. And now I'm using their industrial strength one. <laughs> It legit says industrial strength. <laughs> Damp Beauty Blender. Always remember to dampen that blender. <laughs> dampen the blender. Dampen the Beauty Blender. That's what it's called. Blender. Sounds weird. I don't know. I'm going to stop. <laughs> and I'm going in with the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Going in with the good old three pumps. And I just put a drop of a facial serum just to kind of keep it hydrating. And I'm just pouncing that in with the beauty blender. <music> I'm going in with their brightening concealer. I'm using this to highlight the face as I do with all my concealers. <laughs> I guess you can say the hydrating one is the only one that I just use strictly under my eyes because 
it has like a moisture stick around it so that your under eye doesn't get dried out because that's what's going to make it look like saggy and wrinkly. So I, I really like that concealer. I like all of their concealers actually. Going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just dipping my beauty blender in there to set the concealer. I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalize. This is just in a nude, nude color. <laughs> so I'm using this for my waterline. And I'm smoking out my under eye now, just using the same colors I did on top of the eyes and this one I'm just using a flat to find a brush to kind of get right under the waterline and then I'll smoke it out. I'm going in with the Tarte Gifted Mascara. Again, just another small one. These are the ones that I like to use under my eyes. It's easier to get in there. <laughs> now I'm going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and my favorite Lime Crime brushes. And I'm using this to contour. You can already see how much pigment I got on that brush. Like... This is like really one of the best powders, especially if you want to contour without using any kind of cream. They, it comes in a lighter one too. They have a hula light. So if you are lighter than me, I would recommend that one. And then they have the hula and I love it. It's usually my go-to for bronzing, not for bronzing, excuse me, contouring. And I'm just cleaning that up with the same translucent powder. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Amazonian 12 hour blush, I believe it's called. Um, this one is in the color Concept. And now I'm just working in all the powder, the translucent powder, just working it into the skin. I'm just cleaning things up. Now I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, just warming up the face. And I'm going in with 
the Balm Mary Luminizer and this Morphe highlighting brush. Still my favorite highlighter. <laughs> Using that to highlight the inner corners of my eyeballs. <laughs> and setting that with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lipstick. This is like by far one of my favorite red lipsticks ever. I mean, Rihanna came to slay. She is not playing with this lipstick. It is so comfortable. The applicator is just super easy to work with. It's like my favorite. And it's flattering on so many skin tones. Like I'm like, how did you do it? It's beautiful. It's one of my favorites. I rave about it all the time. And it's shaped like a nail polish. I mean... She really is an innovator. Who'd have thunk, right? <laughs> oh, yes. So here's a close-up of the final look. It's definitely vampy. Because I usually don't go with a heavy lip and a heavy eye. But I don't know. It's feeling a little bit adventurous. And why not? And this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And something new or anything. <laughs> so I hope you guys come back next time. Bye.